Hey, Don here. Okay, so, well, just for the ongoing saga of the uh, messed up Wintech SD card, let's go ahead and see if it boots. It has easy to boot on it. <coughs> Got it in the S AS Rock machine over there. <coughs> I've got to get my fingers to where I can, on the keyboard here. Okay, um, I've got to select F11 so that I can tell it to boot to that card. Yeah, it shows up this time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't in that AS Rock. The BIOS is automatic only. You can't tell it what to look for. But it uh, will find things, but not always. Every time you boot it, sometimes you have to take the uh, SD card or USB device out, put it back in there, and then it'll do it. But if you halt it like that and see if it sees it, then you can, you can just do that. You have to reboot, though, if it doesn't see it. Okay, but so far so good. We've got a boot menu. But I can't write files to it. I can't copy or write files from the thing. DRBL Live, Fedora, that's the one I've been using, Party Magic, oh, that and Party Magic. I want Party Magic 2013. That's the one I'm trying to use. So if that still works okay, then of course it takes a little longer to boot, but that's all right. Yeah, default settings are fine. 32-bit will do 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. Um, this machine would run either one, but you know, just to do your basic operations, I don't see any, any reason e either one would be better than the other. It might be something I don't know about, but um, <coughs> so far it's doing good. And since I already went through my both of my little uh, USB sticks, and I don't have Party Magic on either one of them, this is my best way to boot Party Magic. I do have it on some CDs and. I don't know if I have that version, that newer version there on there. I could burn one. I have some have CDs. I got away from doing that because, you know, once you burn them, they're wasted. Well, unless it's rewritable. I just don't have very many of those. But um, I didn't like wasting CDs for one time, you know, uh, well, not one time use, but you use it for most of the live distros are good for about a year and then you got you know you get they get a new one that comes out and you want to use it actually this part of magic it's went proprietary and they're not putting any more free ones so i guess i could burn one but for instance i wanted to add i have a folder on this sd card where i add my own personal files and i wanted to put team viewer in there portable so that i could run it and that's been my whole headache. I, I can't. Uh, I'll suddenly start getting read write errors. Clonezilla is what I want to use. And yeah, it runs. I knew it would. I don't know why I even clicked on it. But uh, I'm not going to do it now. How about disk health? Let's see if there's anything showing up here on my SD card. Maxter ST storage device unknown model. Oh, I don't. I think these SD cards don't. They don't work too good in here. Yeah, cannot reach smart net. Uh, show output. All right, looks like that's a part of the live part of magic system. That. Portable ATA. Okay, so yeah, I can't read it. Because the Mac store would be the uh, trying to see, yeah, 30 gigabyte. That's the one that has Windows 7 64 bit on it. And uh, there's some errors, but it did pass. So. And then the ST, that's a Seagate drive. That's the uh, one that does pass overall that's a Seagate Barracuda 250 gigabyte <coughs> and that's the one that I had turned into a backup drive and now I'm going to turn it back into the Windows drive 
because 30 gigabyte drives already full and that's about the error log and stuff offline uncorrectable I can't see all the letters are too low for me to see hold, sitting here back here where I am holding the phone. So anyway, I've looked at it many times. It's it's all right. Um, it's not you know perfect, but it's all right. <coughs> so um, that worked pretty good and actually booted quicker than I expected it to. So. The partition in here, you oh, the, there we go. It opened up a window and it opened uh, a file manager and the mounter. See, none of the drives are mounted, not even the one I booted from because it's all loaded into memory. The whole operating system, part of magic. So, I could mount any of them, I could try mounting. I'm not going to do it because I um, don't expect it to work, but I could try mounting. Uh, my SD card and then try to write I could and I, I just dawned on me oh, I could plug in my USB drive and try to copy those files over like I've been trying to do but I don't expect that to do any different in here than it would do in Fedora or Windows 7 or Windows XP so I think it'd be a wasted exercise in futility but um, Order Magic is a great little uh, backup uh, great for working with disks and drives and backing up and rescuing and all kinds of stuff like that. And it, it has a uh, run uh, Clam AV on it. You have to kind of install and update it and all that stuff, but you can do that too. But uh, so it does work, does boot. <coughs> That's the SD card that I've been fighting with trying to write to and now I see that on their website that's actually a common problem uh, especially if you're using it uh, basically it's like I'm doing as a portable drive uh, it, say it works better if you just put it in a mobile device and leave it there and don't take it out oh formatting that's what I was interested in let's see hard drive formatting let's see Something that I could format. U UDP cast disk line. I forgot what that one's like. Okay. Um, hope I'm holding the phone where I'm no, not, you know, getting off of the screen altogether. Um, I don't see a lot about like working with the discs themselves. Maybe the tools that I'm thinking of other than, I mean the ones I like to use like test disk. I know test disk is on here. I didn't see it just now but I know it's on here. Uh, it might be my best bet since I'm more familiar with it. to go through with test disk and uh, try to if well I first I want to see what I'd like to do if I can is try making an image of uh, that SD card with clonezilla and I, I, I'm tempted to try. I was just now thinking, oh, I could do that right now. There's test this. Could do that right now, but I'm just too tired to start something like that. And it's small text, hard to see. And if I'm going to do it, let's see. 
Yes, I wouldn't be able to make a real desktop video like I've been doing, like running TeamViewer and recording it on my other machine, unless I get a way to. I mean, there are some more uh, USB slots on the back of this machine, but there's only two on the front. One would be for this SD uh, c card and the uh, USB adapter, and the other one would be for my big uh, backup hard drive, uh, USB hard drive. But I could put TeamViewer on one of my uh, USB sticks and plug it in the back. Hadn't thought of that. And then run it from there and it could make my, my little desktop video. Or I could set up the phone on the tripod. Of course, I, there's no good place to set it. I can hold it right here, but I can't hold still and I can't do it for a long time. Because, um, you know, you can't, just can't hold still that long. And I could put the tripod over to the right on the with the phone and do it that way, but you but this text already being kind of small anyway on this part of magic when you boot it up here like on this machine it uh, would not be readable that's for sure to the viewer but uh, anyway yeah there's a way there's always a, some way to do stuff in there so, um, so what I would like to do is make a clonezilla image of the SD card since it's booting and everything Make a clonezilla image of it, reformat it. What? If you make no, if you make a clonezilla image, and when I, I put it back on there, it will just be. I believe it'd still be the same textures. It copies everything, the texture sizes and everything, if I understand it right. It doesn't just copy the data. Well, wait a minute. What does it do? Texture sizes and all that. Yeah, because it would copy the partitions, and if those partitions are made. You know, uh, at five twelve kilobyte six or so, and that's how it would make copy it, and then that's how it would put it back on there. So I don't think that would be an improvement. Maybe I should just ow, talking about not holding the camera anymore. Oh man, I was getting getting cramps. Okay, so um, I'll have to think about it. What I'm thinking now is maybe I'll boot to this SD card. Put my uh, Team Viewer on my S on my USB stick, run it from there, and then plug my uh, hard drive in there to back up to. But I'll just back up my Windows 7 system like I've been planning on doing. Do that first before I mess around with this SD card anymore. Yeah, I mean there's no point in. I'll try to avoid starting over with my easy to boot setup, but heck, that might end up being easier than trying going around the block 20 times to save it too okay so there's some sort of plan the main thing I wanted to do was get my uh, get that done with the AS rock get that to, I want to get that Windows 7 over on that bigger hard drive and see if it'll run up use be usable well, I mean it, it should be usable enough for a while because I have my laptop right here that is running like Fedora 21 or something 22 uh, it was EOL into life a while back a couple of years ago I don't want to update it my uh, Lenovo i5 down there is running Fedora 23 I need to put I'm going to put Fedora 25 on it and get, get some space back on both of them because they both have Windows 7 Systems are dual boots, and the Windows 7's got infected. All my Windows 7's got infected, all three of them. The AS Rock has already been reformatted, and I went from 32 bit to 64 bit, but it's really too much for the machine because it only has 2 gig of RAM, and uh, that's the ma minimum for 64 bit. So I'm probably going to end up having to go back to 32 bit Windows 7, but I've decided it's the machine I'm going to have Windows 7 on. And uh, because I can just run it. Uh, I can just control it from any machine I want with a remote desktop or I can go ahead and plug my KVM switch into it like I, ha I have it that way right now that's how come I'm able to boot whatever I want with no problem onto it like this part of magic and um, and control it I mean you know uh, well you have to you have to use keyboard input to select your operating system and everything because that uh, easy to boot uh, SD card is a multi multiple boot setup you know you have to choose what you're going to boot so
so but it sure is aggravating not being able to just do a simple thing like copy some files and to it and all that stuff I'm surprised as many read, reading read in and out errors read errors it's had uh, when I ran test this on it and all that I can't believe that it just boots up just fine but uh, I don't know. Maybe that's uh, maybe it wouldn't work if any of the, most of these operating systems, you know, load up into RAM, and so it's just reading. It's not writing anything. So I guess the problem is really coming in when you try to write to it. Well, I tried to copy it though, and it wouldn't do it. I tried to just a while ago. Tried to copy it and back it up. Just straight up copy the files, you know, not not making an image of it. When you make an image of a disk, of uh, you you know, it's not mounted, and that makes a big difference into what you. Uh, what you can copy and I can't explain it all I might could a little bit if I wasn't tired but um, sometimes you can copy you can make a uh, backup copy with the uh, clonezilla whenever you couldn't there's certain features in some of these uh, backup apps that can can actually make a good backup of an ISO of an um, not an ISO but an image backup image of an of a drive that is actually throwing errors uh, not sure if Clonezilla does that really well, but some of them do. You can usually have to turn on a mode that's telling that's what you're trying to do. But uh, actually, maybe Clonezilla does that by default. But anyway, some of these uh, drive cloning apps can uh, clone a drive successfully that's throwing some errors, but maybe not one that's in horrible shape, you know. But anyway, read errors I'm talking about. Okay, uh, this is done. Now that'll be my new plan. I will. What will I do? I will put TeamViewer on one of my USB sticks, and I can plug that into the back of the uh, S Rock, and I can boot to my Party Magic just like I am right now. I can run Clonezilla from here, and I can plug in my big uh, Seagate backup drive to put the backup images on. It's not too complicated, is it? No, I don't think so. Maybe I'll have to look back at this video and remember what I said I was going to do. Alright, it's done. Bye-bye.